Sunil and uh, we will go with the AWS uh, that is Amazon Web Services uh, demo uh, but before we start with the demo uh, just trying to get some idea that who you are what is your qualification so that way we can address your questions or something there okay so i need the help uh, that uh, who you are introduce yourself and why you want to join the aws uh, session or course so anybody volunteer that who want to start uh, talking or uh, having some information over the chat and i would like that this session to be interactive so that way uh, we can provide you as much as information as possible okay so i can see a lot of people are here like gulshan hemant rajiv raju satish and so on so if you have any questions or something put it those questions on the uh, group or chat if you want to send me your chat in personal no problem but uh, please uh, start talking over the chat or the voice that way it will help to make this session more interesting and more fruitful yeah so somebody wants to uh, say about himself or anything that they want to share waste your time i don't want to waste my time so definitely it will uh, will start at exactly 10 10 and then we'll go but before that i want that who you are and it uh, there's uh, amazon web service demo but uh, i will request all the members be on mute uh, because uh, if we have disturbance then there is a a problem so i'll rec so let's go with uh, the cloud so what is a cloud so anybody has any idea about what is a cloud because amazon is one of the cloud service so before that i want to help to get uh, clarify that what is a cloud so if you can type in you can speak in that way it will help and i want that this sessions to be more interactive rather than one way dialogue so i'll keep on going and in meanwhile if you have any questions uh, so you can keep on putting those questions i will try to address with that so let's get start with that so what is a cloud so cloud is a collection of a service which is available remotely or available via internet so it is a collection collection of services uh, which we can access via internet very simple so this is a very simple definition is what we have okay so why we need a cloud so we understood that the collection of services so what are the services we can get so primarily three services we will get infrastructure as a service then you will get a platform as a service so these are all services and we will have a software as a service very simple so everything is broken down into services so let's 
have some example on each area so we can uh, clarify about uh, these services and for that i will use uh, some kind of a diagram so let me share the diagram with you so here we go so here we go so traditionally in over olden days what we were having we were having a computer so what is this computer is doing so who is administrating so system admin was managing this servers and in the server we know that there are basic three components in every server so we'll break this uh, server in three logical pieces We'll break this server in three logical pieces. So what are these three logical pieces? I'll put it very simple manner. These logical pieces are nothing but, which is a hardware. Now what is the hardware you'll get? You'll get CPU, you'll get RAM, you'll get storage, and so on, and network, right? So that is what is the hardware service. Then you will get another service, which is the operating system, OS. What are the different operating system we have? Linux, Windows. Now I'm not taking Mac as an operating system because Mac is a desktop operating system, desktop operating system. So it is not a server operating system. We are just talking about server. And we have something application on top of that what are the applications we have web server database server email server or active directory server so so on so these are called as application layer now what cloud did so cloud facilitate these kind of things as a service and again it has broken those services into similar three different areas so one is the so these are the three layers what we have and who will admin this cloud so cloud engineer will admin that and who like aws engineer azure engineer or your g cloud google cloud engineer now what are these we have said that we have broken into three areas infrastructure as a service then uh, the other area we say as a platform as a service and another area is like a software as a service we'll say SaaS. so let's have the example of each so you will get a cpu and ram in amazon it is called as ec2 service if you go with the storage, it is called as a S3 service. If you go to the network, it is called as a VPC as a service. So you see that whatever you can get on the hardware layer, similar things you are able to get on the software layer as a service layer. So each component, you see that CPU and RAM, the CPU and RAM is the EC2 service. Your storage is the S3 service. Your network is as a VPC service. So you can see that all these things are converted into service and then given to the user. Now, what is the advantage of converting these services or these things into services? Very simple. The elasticity. Elasticity means flexibility. So using as a service, it will have more flexibility. That means you can increase the size of server or storage or network at your convenience, which was very difficult while working with the normal physical server. So physical server has some problems, right? But the cloud has a lot of advantage over that. Okay, that's one of the system. Pass. Pass is another service. What is that? Platform as a service. That means you will have the, let's say, email as a service. Uh, you can say a notification, SNS. Or you have email, simple notification service, simple um, message service, and so on. So a lot of services are there. 
so let's say you want to send an email to 100 people then you'll say okay sunil i will send it 100 emails through my gmail account why i need a service perfectly fine but let's say you want to send an email to 1 million users. 1 million means 10 lakhs people or 10 lakhs customer. Then what you will do? Your Gmail account is not sufficient. So you have to purchase the service and then you have to do that. So instead of that, you can go to the cloud. You can purchase that service at a very low cost and you can send emails to hundreds and thousands of people at very nominal cost. So that flexibility you will get with that. The last example is of the SaaS model, software as a service. So software as a service is a Gmail is an excellent example of SaaS. Now, why it is excellent example? Because for end user, end user doesn't bother about these two layers. Which two layers end user doesn't bother? So end user doesn't bother about the platform layer, the infrastructure layer. Let's say you have a Gmail account. Are you bothered which Java version Gmail is using? No. You are using Gmail. Are you bothered about which hard disk, Seagate hard disk or SATA hard disk or uh, AMD hard disk it is using? Are you bothered about that? No. So you are only bothered about the Gmail service. So what is the Gmail service? Gmail service is sending and receiving the email. That's all it is doing. Nothing more, nothing less but it has a lot of features in that so gmail has a two kind of services one is the paid service and one is the free service so i believe most of us we will use the free service so what free service will offer free service will offer limited number of emails free service will offer limited number of storage free service doesn't offer the spam filtering but if you go for the gmail paid service you have higher number of emails you can send you have bigger email box and that at very nominal cost so what is the cost 150 rupees per month per user you see that how cheaper is the gmail you'll say even free is the very cheapest but free will not have the spam filter now when you see that so these are the layers which are important in the cloud. So infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. So any questions, any doubt at this moment about these services? So these services are nothing but conversion of your physical layers into the services. It is a conversion of your layers into services conversion of your application layer into software as a services so is that clear any questions any doubt please explain about pass okay again i will say pass is a platform as a service that means we are not bothered about the os what os is using we are not bothered about the hardware, what we are using, either we are using Intel processor, AMD processor, Athlon processor. No, no, no. When I want to sell a bulk SMS, for example, bulk SMS service. So I'm not bothered about the software. I'm not bothered about the hardware, but I'm bothered about the service. So platform as a service will help you to get the service without any software headache, without any hardware headache. So you can enjoy, you can take the benefit of the platform, but the limitation that it is in a small, small chunks, small, small chunks means you have to pay for each, every service there. Okay. So it's a platform. So you don't have to write any code. So let's say, for example, you are writing a healthcare application. And in the healthcare application, a lot of people need to send SMS on the regular basis. Like for every month, they have to send a reminder. Hey, your blood test is pending. Your sugar test is pending and these and that and reporting and all the stuff. So what your application will do? Your application will use this platform to send that SMS or notifications or emails. So that way, 
your application doesn't have to bother about all those technical nitty-gritties. You will just get the email address or phone number and you will send a message. That's all. And whatever the schedule frequency you did, automatically it will go along with that. So you don't have to bother about what software or hardware that platform is using. So your health application should not bother about the email and SMS notification. It will just pass. It will just call the APIs. APIs are nothing but the application program interface. And through that, it will send the SMS or email to your customers. At a cheaper cost. Cheaper means, let's say, one email at rupees 0 0.0001 rupees, something like that. Because you have a long term contract, you have a big contract, so you have a cheaper service there. So hopefully that address your question, Pranav. I am not sure that it had address uh, your question. But if you know, OK, very good. OK, any other questions we have from the members regarding the infrastructure or as a platform or as a SaaS model? OK, so if no questions, then let, let me go further. Then another question can come there. Is somebody talking? Any question here? Uh, yeah, uh, for a SAS, we're given Gmail example, right? For email also, you have your SAS uh, uh, service. What is the difference between the both of them? OK. So basically, uh, the difference is that let's say let's say make it very, very simple. OK. So when you are using a Gmail. Now, Gmail has a lot of packages. Gold package, platinum package, and you can go along and you are interacting with as a software. That means you are not using any APIs or you are not using. So we are assuming that uh you have an organization and in your organization there are 100 people and those 100 people having a email account under the gmail so we are looking from the interface point of view we are looking from the uh, users are login user are sending an attachments as an individual person but when you go as a platform as a service i am talking about the bulk services we are talking about bulk, bulk services. That means hundreds and thousands of email you want to send, then it is going easily go with the pass because it's more cheaper than any other thing. So the Gmail, or I can give a second example for the SaaS as uh, you are, uh, here we go, so let me go with that. So Salesforce, so what is the Salesforce? Salesforce is also a, SaaS platform, but what is this SaaS platform? It is for the it is a CRM system. CRM means what? Customer relation management system. That means all your business related customer related data is stored in the Salesforce. So let's say you have accounting software, but accounting software will not use the Salesforce, but your sales and marketing team will heavily rely on this sales force, which is a CRM system, which is a SaaS model, which is a SaaS model. So we are talking in two different ways. When we say SaaS as a model, we are going with the software as a service where humans will interact with the service, but less API. But when we go with the platform as a service, we are expecting more program level communication rather than human level communication. So that is the difference that what we have there. So is that answer your question? Sorry, I don't know your name. You yeah, got it. So what's your good name? Rajiv. <coughs> Rajiv. Okay. okay, Rajiv. Thank you. Okay, any other questions we have? So we got a question from Pranab. We got a question yeah. from Rajiv. I have yeah, please. Go ahead, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, please speak it. Yeah, I am able to hear you. Okay, so what is the difference between uh, cloud and system? Uh, sorry, your voice was got broken. What is the difference between cloud and? 
system admin system admin uh, totally different totally different see system admin are a traditional way of administrator they are administrate doing administration of maybe like uh, 10 20 maybe 50 service and you are not doing any administration using programs you are manually doing everything in the system admin so things are mostly done in a manual way so where the system admin will focus he will go along and he will do that so he is not using any cloud service he is physically working in the data center and he is doing something there but as a cloud engineer you have to spin up the machines that means you have to create the virtual machines using some programs either command line interface or some programs so you can use uh, some tools like uh, ansible chef puppet or you can use the aws cli command line interface to go along with that that is not possible with the traditional kind of system admin so I am saying he is working on the physical machines and so on. Even you are working as a VMware admin or something, you are not creating the machines using programmatical way. If you are doing that, then it is good. It is a similar way you will do in the cloud. Okay. But traditionally, when I say system admin, he is working physically with the system. When I say cloud engineer, he is working with the cloud as a service, as a software engineer, as a command line professional. So he'll control the system. Of course, he will have the web user interface, but uh, okay. web interface has a limitation that one, two or three system you will work. But when you go with the CLI, that is a command line interface, you are controlling hundreds and thousands of okay. Then uh, which is the platform is better C double AS or I double AS? Uh, which is the better which is C double AS I never said C double AS <sighs> so what is the C double AS sorry if I misunderstood that you are saying S double AS or uh, something else hello hello yeah can you repeat your question please okay so what is the better platform in the clouds, SSS or IWS? Hmm. See, it depends on the organization. Let's say you are the organization. If you are the organization, if you feel I want to directly go with the Gmail, you can directly take as a SaaS as a platform. Now, I will give an example. Let's say you have an organization, a small organization, which having a team of 20 people so if I go with the 20 people if you go with the 20 people with the Gmail saying that hey I want my organization to have my email account so they will say okay per account you have to pay 150 rupees so if I get that so if I have to go with 20 into uh, 150 so nearly how much it is a 3000 per month I have to pay so that is the cost I will go with the SAS. But let's say now I will take a bigger example. Let's say you have one lakh user. Let's say a company like Infosys, a company like Infosys has a one lakh users. And if they says Google says I want you want to pay 150 rupees per user. So how much cost did they have to pay? So you can imagine that you have to pay the huge cost. So what Infosys will say, no, 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 we don't want to go for the SaaS. What we will do, we will go for IAAS and we will spin up our server like uh, your Active Directory or Exchange server or SendMail server or Zimbra server or some kind of email server in the IAAS and we will save a tremendous cost. So it depends on how the organization want to go. If it is a small scale organization, sometimes SaaS is a good model. If it is a bigger organization, it is going for infrastructure service as a better model. So hope that clarify the you. Next, the next question is a.
Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Please ask the question. Don't wait. Okay. So, what is the means of EEC two, S three, and VPC? That is why you have to join the course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me let let me say that. See, EC two okay. basically EC two basically it is help you to create the virtual machines. Yeah, In a simple yeah. way, it is you will create the virtual machines. Let's say okay. you want a hard disk. Let's say you want a hard disk. Space, or you want to disk space? Then S3 is a good storage, service. Storage, yes. storage, storage, S3. right? Okay. So and VPC is can, like a network. Okay. How can provide you our customer in this cloud pages? Mm, sorry, can you repeat your question? So, how can provide our customer in a cloud pages? How can? Uh, still, I didn't get your question. Who is speaking, by the way? Oh, Viral. Ah, Viral. So let me let me uh, re uh, put your question. So let me help to understand that I did understand the question. Let's say okay. you have your company and you want to have a customer, and you are saying that how you will provide the service using yeah, yeah, cloud definitely. to your customer. Okay. Is that is your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, what kind of service you want to give? Yeah, yeah. No, I am asking a question to you, uh, Viral. What kind of service your company is giving? Any example? So, it's a depend on customer. I am giving for a VM workstation. Like uh, some people need to for uh, only for two GB RAM. It's a yeah, see, one of one of type of space like this hard disk same as. User can provide to online services. Yes, what kind of services? That is what I'm asking. No, it's a cloud. You are not providing a cloud service. Cloud is already there. Using cloud, yeah. what do you want to give to the customer? It's a online spaces. Like uh, some people need to for an operating system in online storage. Storage means. Still, I am not able to get your question. Sorry. Uh, so okay. So how can perfectly I am uh, learn from this cloud? How can perfectly? You mean to say how you can get expert in this cloud? Yeah. What is the cloud means? I can learn uh, perfectly. So what is mean by perfect? Yeah. See, basically, when you want to learn the cloud, yeah. and you want to learn in the good way, then you have to learn these three areas: infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. You want to control all these things as a cloud engineer. You want to control, and you okay. you will go along with that. So, uh, do you know that the which university provide the Perfectly cloud computing is a learning platform. Which university? Uh, there is no university which is giving the certification on cloud. Okay, but uh, I am planning my... for. Mm -hmm. I, but uh, I am planning for further study my in the abroad. Mm -hmm. So there is a I think a Lambton College in Canada. Mm -hmm. It's a provide for a cyber security with cloud computing, so it is a better way. Yes, then you can go that. If already there somebody is giving the certification, I will say please go there. No problem. Okay, then I will come back in uh, my country in India. Hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello. Okay, so let's let's do one thing. Let me complete this demo because we are dragging from here to there. Once we complete okay. this demo, then we can ask questions. No problem. Okay. Okay. So let's focus okay. on the topic and then we can go for that. Okay. 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 So here we go. So we are talking about these services. I tried to explain about these services. Now, what is the role of cloud engineer? What is the role 
of cloud engineer first to save the company cost that is the first target to create virtual machines to create storage to set up network okay so these are the tasks that you have to go along and perform in the cloud so you will do all these things as a cloud engineer and why the organization will hire you because you are helping them to save the cost you are helping them to create the quickly the vms the storage the network and maintaining the setup then you will monitor the monitor this infrastructure okay so now this is what is the role of the cloud engineer so you have to understand the business model and you have to help that organization to run their business smoothly that means you will make sure that you will run the infrastructure 24 by 7 365 days simply 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 that is what you will go and you will work with them so so you will configure the monitoring service you will configure network service storage service virtual machine service and so on and you will help them to make in in the budget so is this clear what is the role of the cloud engineer any yes. questions on the cloud role engineer no no so if you are not speaking uh, please be on mute that way it will help and if you have questions you can speak or if you have any questions you can put in cloud so so raji uh, raviraj says the answer is yes but i, I believe i got distracted so is the answer is we are clear or not clear okay so i am assuming that we are clear here and let's go further let's go further from this point okay thank you raviraj uh, hopefully you are clear okay fine so uh, uh, viral i am putting you on mute because your voice is uh, in the background creating noise okay so i'll mute you okay or, okay okay or you can mute yourself that way it will help okay now uh, let's go further and let's try to understand that uh, what or who can join this course who can join uh, aws okay the people are who are freshers they can join because it is a uh, very easy to learn and you will get lots and lots of material in one course so you learn nearly 10 services the important services and you can go and you can go along the people who are pursuing certification so there are a lot of certification in the aws it has a from the entry level you have the associate level then you have professional level and you have the architect level certification so if you are interested you can go along with the certification so our course is uh, tracking towards the associate level certification that means after doing this course you can attempt uh, you can uh, go for the associate level certification and if you want to go higher level then you have to have a different course the professional level uh, there is architect level course you can go along with that but this is not for the freshers for the freshers you have only one course which is the associate level if you want to join other courses first you need the associate you have to get the certification and then only you can apply for the professional architecture level okay so you cannot uh, take okay, the certification yes please okay so basically professor can uh, attempt yes and then uh, they can learn from prof professional and architecture yes then only they are allowed to uh, give the certification for professional okay. architect not give direct certification exam of the professional okay. level or architect level okay then it is a passing first passing ssc and then going for hsc without ssc 
you cannot have hsc mm-hmm. you cannot have graduation i right. have graduated from a bachelor of computer application no 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 nothing if you are passed out also first you have to go with the level and okay. this is like a graduation i am just comparing just to show you what level you are there so first you have to go with the associate level then you have to go with the professional level then architect level okay okay so compulsorily you have to go with the associate level okay, okay. now if you are already an experienced person, again there is a question uh, if i don't want to appear for associate there is no option that all that's what i am saying you cannot directly go professional or architect you have to first clear the level. even though you have 10 20 100 year experience right oh, so it doesn't right. experience doesn't matter there your experience in the cloud is matter that's why associate level you have to first get clear so where is it located for uh, aws in uh, learn from in, it is located in gujarat that in a moment okay 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 so uh, is it clear that who can join and if you are a experienced person so experienced person like uh, you are a linux already a linux administrator or you are already a windows administrator or you are already a storage or vmware administrator you can join this course because this will help you to enhance the skills in the cloud and it will help how the cloud will work and you can easily get the job with that okay so if you are already expert if you have the knowledge then this course is also very helpful for you because you will work together and we will build the infrastructure go along with that so is that clear that who can join this aws course any questions any doubt hey so this is pavan here yeah pavan uh, i'm working as an oracle dba till now and is it okay for me to move to aws absolutely it is uh, good no problem at all because aws is the future that is a cloud is the future your oracle servers will also get some time moved into the cloud then you have to know the cloud okay so okay. that's what is the important to understand the aws and its services so all the servers are going to the cloud now why they are going to the cloud because it's very cheaper and cost benefit for the organization for not for you for you it's just a management monitoring maintenance but for organization it is very cheap it is very cost effective solution but definitely who are the java programmers who are the db admins for them it is also a very good course because nowadays the cloud experience and cloud knowledge is a mandatory is a must to go along with that okay so you can definitely take advantage of this course thank you sunil okay now we have divided this course into two areas one is the person who is already having some experience which is we say as a fast track and experience is what you need to know a linux administration knowledge okay so you can directly jump into that so this course is a fast track you can learn quickly for the people who don't have experience we have a normal pace course for the normal pace course so there we don't have a linux knowledge no problem we will teach the linux knowledge we will uh, go with the linux knowledge we will uh, make you learn the linux knowledge learn linux so our first step will be learning the linux in the normal course and then you will go further from that point but for experienced people who are already having the knowledge on linux area we will go along with or uh, the fast track and for the normal people we will have the normal course who are the freshers who are want to learn something more on the linux then we will go with the normal track so we have two tracks it depends on your choice which track you want to go but when you say you are having a linux admin knowledge we will take your test in linux and if you pass in the test then only you are allowed to go for the fast track because that's really fast track if you don't have linux knowledge or something then i will not recommend that fast track to you then it is a waste of time 
you will not able to understand anything and then you will say at the end of the you will cry you will say so neil you don't told that or you didn't told that so i'll say no 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 understanding the linux admin is essential because all the things what you are going to do on the linux servers we will create linux servers we will create infrastructure and we will go lot of good things with that so the, your choice that how you want to go if you are experienced we can go with the fast track and a fast track course is uh, we have really a fast track means we will have the course within 7 days so you can literally learn the services within 7 to 15 days depend on the speed of the students in the class but if you are going in the normal batch there is a 25 days course is available there okay so take admission admission fees for is the same for both the courses so there is no difference but you will learn the subject very fast and you will not waste your time if you are already experienced people how, how much cost sorry how much cost how much cost okay so we will talk about that in a moment okay so hold on with that okay so uh, our uh, the people who are there like salim or mohammad or satish will uh, talk on the cost and other things so they will give you the feedback i am not the right person to talk on the cost okay so the organizers who has organized this uh, course they will talk about the cost so i am not the right person i am only the subject matter expert you can talk me about aws anything i will help you to go with that okay now we understood that okay so we need to have so fast track and for the normal you can choose and if you choose the normal we will teach you linux first and then we will take you to the uh, normal uh, track and then you can complete that okay uh, so what are the things we are going to cover in our course so we are going to talk about uh, the uh, how to set up the account account setup okay so we'll talk about account setup and then uh, we will talk about uh, the different type of services like uh, we will go with the ec2 service we will go with the storage service and then in the storage there are a lot of services glacier and blah 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 stuff we will go with all the storage services then we will talk about the uh, networking part networking card comes on a vpc and elastic ips and we will go and talk about uh, Uh, dns service which is the route 53 and so on so we'll go along with that and then so we are basically focusing on the infrastructure as a service part first then we will talk about the sns simple notification service then we will talk about cloud watch which is the monitoring uh, service then we are going to talk about iam iam that identity access and management and so on and we will also work with the cli command line interface and to learn with the command line interface you should know certain linux that's why we are saying that learn linux first and then go for this course because all the command lines you will <coughs> work with the interface and all the services ec2 s3 sns and cloudwatch i am supports the command line interface so you will type some commands and automatically the cloud will do something for you in the backend so this is what we will learn in our um, whole thing we will talk about the database service which is the rds uh, which is the failover service <clears throat> and we will talk about another service called as elb elastic load balancer and we will give those uh, concepts and knowledge and we will do the hands on work with that so these are the things overall we will go and we will implement a live project we will go with the world project wordpress project and we will implement the project using all this mechanism and we will implement all the services to make sure that your wordpress is available 24 by 7 365 days 365 days so this is what we are going to cover in our training so any question about the topics any questions about the things
Okay. Uh, Sunil, so, what is about the VPC? Uh, could you please tell me what is VPC? Services? VPC is basically, yeah, basically VPC is creating your own network in the cloud. Okay. So which account is the better? Sorry, can you repeat your question? Okay, which is account is better to set up? Which account means what? Like EC2, S3, VPC. All, we have to set all of them. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And Sunil, one more question. So, uh, can we schedule all these uh, runs? As you said that uh, CLI uh, will be command line interface uh, to run any job. So is there any Jenkins or any other scheduling we can uh, do with uh, this AWS? Or... Yes, you can do that. See, basically <clears throat> we are creating a servers in the cloud. So you can install any server, Jenkins server or email server, database server, web server, monitoring server, any kind of server. So Jenkins is one of the server in the system. Or there are special services also, if you want to uh, go with the special Amazon services like a Jenkins service, uh, build and co continuous integration. You have their own services also. So you can also utilize those services if you want, don't want to maintain your servers. So it's an organization choice. They want to go for the Gmail account or uh, they want to create their own email server because they have a lot of customers or consumers in their office. Hello, Sunil, sir. Yes, please. So I can learn for WordPress. I have already done it. So we are not making you learn WordPress. We are setting up the WordPress and uh, we are creating infrastructure to set up a WordPress which will run 24 by 7, 365 days. But I have already done for AWS in account or so it's a providing one year free account. Mm -hmm. So I can learn easily it. Yes, you can learn easily. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So any other questions we have here? So hopefully I answered your question about Jenkins. Sorry, I'm not able to get your names. So that's why. Yeah, yeah it's uh, Devish Sunil. Okay. Yeah, yeah I've got your, your update. Uh, thank you. Okay. Sunil. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any other, any, any questions we have here? Okay, so uh, I believe one more question, Sunil. So this is only related to Amazon Web Services. There is no link between Microsoft related web services. This is only for Amazon Web Services, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is uh, uh, only. Can you tell me some comparison? Uh, because I am not aware much about uh, uh, Microsoft Web Services. So how these Amazon Web Services are uh, uh, quite good to handle this uh, infrastructure related things? Uh, if you have idea. Yes. So very simple. Let's say you have. Uh, Two wheeler. Let's say you have Honda two wheeler. Okay, and you have a Bajaj two wheeler. So, what is the difference between them? Uh, only the vendors, as uh, that, uh, that I know. But, yeah, only the vendors are different. So, Microsoft is the one no, vendor. No, 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 if you take the Honda, you will have the front gear. If you take the Bajaj, it has a back gear. Yes or no? Yeah, features. Features will be different. Customization options will be different. That's it. Correct. Correct. So that is the same thing you will have in the AWS and in the uh, Bajaj. Then let's say you take AWS uh, thing and we'll take as a Amazon, Azure, uh, as another stuff. So in the AWS, we have 1,000 plus services. Are available here we have only 50 to 70 services are available that is the major difference uh, where we have why people go for AWS okay it is yeah. the services that makes the difference somebody likes okay I want a front gear I am happy with the front gear go for the Honda he says no no, no I want a back gear I'll go with the Bajaj so it depends on the customer choice but both are doing the same two wheeler is a two wheeler that means it is purpose is to take the version from one area to other area 
so both the things are doing the same but some may have the power difference some may have the style difference some may have mileage difference and so on so here amazon is a clear cut winner because it has uh, services nearly 1000 plus and it started in 2006 so amazon is not started today it started in 2006 azure has very lately entered into the market nearly around 2011 12 so very late entry in the market there. So that's why AWS has a very broad range of services, broader range of customers, and a lot of job opportunities with that. Azure, yes, it is a newly coming market. And it doesn't just mean that AWS will only support uh, the Linux service. So here we have the Linux uh, Windows machines. Here also you can go with the Linux plus Windows machine. But the offering is the different. Offering means the price and the models and support. So you can do exactly same thing in both the cloud, but again, it's the cost and the other features which may matter. But if you ask me for that, so I will only have two things in my mind. Firstly, is uh, my organization get cost benefit? And second thing, mm -hmm. I can better services. Let's say you are comparing two mobile phones which mobile you will buy you'll always compare the features and at the low cost let me say low budget you want maximum features so that is all the company wants i want maximum features but i want to pay the low cost that is how i can compare with these services so hope that answer your question yeah, yeah. yes sir. okay uh any other uh, question? one last question i have yeah so see uh for running this windows and linux related thing you will know uh, linux uh, to run command line inter uh, or or to deal with command line interface so how much knowledge of uh, linux is required or it, it will require unix knowledge as well see unix and linux are similar i will not say same but similar yeah, you should similar. have good uh, you should have good knowledge in linux good means you should not be an expert but you should know the basics commands like uh, uh, SSH SSH and and other things I know uh, means, uh, how to then, then there is more than sufficient then there is a more than sufficient if you know SSH that means you quite know Linux very well because many people doesn't know what is SSH and all these things that's why we say go first for Linux and then go for that so if you have comfortable knowledge working knowledge how to install the package what is a network and uh, what are the commands that you can use like LS CD and pwd and tar and zip and these and that i have uh, these, uh, uh, some commands i guess uh, in, uh, if I yes so if you have that but i will recommend if you are not comfortable then i will request go for linux because then it will boost your knowledge and confidence when you go to the interview definitely you will crack the interview that is the whole purpose of what we are here so we want to crack the interview yes no. thank you yeah yeah please Hello. Yes, please. So, which, which is the better, AWS, IBM, Google? So I will say AWS is better. If you want to I go for that, services, so, hold on. Hold yeah, on. yeah, I know. I, I I know that. But can I? So what is? Answer? Okay, what is the requirement of uh, AWS? I didn't get your question. Hello. Yeah, Viral, I didn't get your question. Okay, so what is the requirement of AWS? I can uh, track the interview. So I said that you need to have Linux knowledge and yeah. you need to have all this knowledge uh, which I highlighted on the screen. Okay, okay. Right, so you need to have all this knowledge here. Okay, don't worry. Hmm. Any other questions we have? So any questions before we move on? So but hopefully I- We are talking about- uh, uh, cloud practitioner role means uh, this uh, course uh, it's a cloud practitioner role uh... 
so we are saying associate <clears throat> yeah but uh, as per the amazon i think there are uh, four role uh, cloud practitioner architect developer operations so yes associate so center the cloud practitioner yes so you, see for all levels you need an associate level okay so any go you can go dev developer or devops or something associate is the must okay right so for everything the base is associate if you don't know base then you cannot go on higher level same hsc yeah. ssc and graduation again so it's it's uh, something different from the ground uh, practitioner uh, no 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 what i am saying is cloud practice let me bring up that uh, certification mm, so let me go with that so we will go to the website of aws and then i'll showcase something there let me go and search for that uh, here we go here we go so i click on that and you can see that aws certifications and blah 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 learn more so you can see that so first level is the associate exam and then you can go for the higher level then you can go for the higher level. now practitioner level is the basics that's what we say but i will say it is an optional practitioner is the optional you can directly take the associate and then you can go further okay so i, I think it's a certification types yeah okay. yes it's a certification types right so you can go along with that so you know say aws you know aws uh, sorry, your voice is um, not clear. Anybody is asking question? So you can go here and you can click on the AWS certifications and tracking and so on. So you can go along and you can have a lot of things with that. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the tracks that you can see there right so associate and a foundational so foundational is like a practitioner you see but you can see this yeah, is yeah. optional 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 and optional so this is optional yeah, yeah. that's why i said go directly for the associate why do yes, waste yeah. our time in the uh, practitioner Practition. directly go to the next level yeah, yeah thank you. welcome uh, any questions any doubt at this moment hi sunil yes please uh, my name is subhas yeah, welcome Subhash. Tell me. Uh, I have one question. If I uh, participate in uh, training, so you can provide uh, the AWS dumps or uh, question paper, sample question papers and uh, past exams question papers? Yes, so we will provide the dumps, but not the past exam question papers. But dumps are having a lot of good stuff there. You can okay. provide for material regarding the AWS. Yes, we will provide you the in the PDF format, so you can copy, paste, print, whatever you do, you can do that. So you can uh, send me for my email address. Yes, we will send after you join the course. So it's uh, talking about the course detail, which person? So course detail, we will send you. Uh, all the details. Uh, you can give your email address in private chat to okay. Mr. Uh, Salim. So he is the coordinator. So he can help you in get that. He is organizer. So you can privately send your uh, private chat. There is option in the okay. chat. Please, uh, if you are interested, send a, uh, email. Uh, sorry, send a message in the private chat only to Mr. Salim. So. Um, uh, he will send you the details. Yeah, Salim, S A L W -E M. Okay, he's the organizer. So you can send your email uh, to him. Uh, or Salim, if you can give your email address to them, they can send uh, yeah. just an email. Sales and you can revert back to them. So sales at data okay, .com. So please send your email to, or inquiry or something to that email address. We got it. We got it. Yeah, thank you. So let me for all members if they didn't see that Let me do that and any phone number if you can put that that will be more appropriate helpful. So Salim Right Again. 
yeah so put the uh, phone number if you have not and then you can go with that so my request all members send your emails and enquiries to this email address so that way we will help you to get the further details okay any other questions we have so i'll request the members to ask as many as question because this is the right time this is the right the moment uh, you will get okay by the way sorry i i miss my uh, introduction so let me introduce myself my name is sunil i have 20 years of experience in it industry and uh, uh, i am working uh, on aws since 2008 i am devops practitioner head so this is my short introduction okay so any other questions we have so what is the time now so our time is 11 10 so already we have engaged for one hour any last question anybody wants to ask anybody wants to put the last question Before no sir leave? thank you thank you this is in devish here please yeah devish please so the, see now so you can ask as many questions don't worry course. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. This will be last with online courses, or uh, we need to uh, do uh, join some classes. So or... it depends. It depends on the location. If you are in Hyderabad. It's a my location in a Gujarat. Gujarat in Ahmedabad. It is provided in there. Let me explain. So uh, currently we are located in Hyderabad. If you okay. want to join a class uh, room session. you can come there but if you want to uh, go online then you can be anywhere in the world because we have people from us uk australia uh, so i i believe amdavad is in india so we can definitely reach out with them it's just joking so where is the located yes. in amdavad can, can you send me address in the amdavad no what i said i said if you are in amdavad you have to join okay sorry no no problem okay and duration will be like uh, 15 to 20 days for the fast track and for the nominal uh, people normal track it is 25 days it's depend on person yes not depend on oh. person depend on the choice of the course either you are going okay. for the fast track or you are going for the normal track mm, normal course uh, is uh, provided in 25 days right yes. so in that we will so, cover linux linux basics and then we'll start with the actual aws so what is the actual means of cloud computing i am uh, just not understand yet okay no problem so let me re explain see basically when you have or working in or but question are you a fresher or yes i am a fresher okay very good then let's uh, help me to get answer in the fresher way say let's you are working in amdavad and they are you are sitting they will have the building they will take things on the rent then they will buy the servers and they will put the servers in that building now if you are okay. maintaining that server then it is a very costly affair so what your organization will think no 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 i don't want to put my servers in the office but it is very cheap to put the uh, things in the cloud so what they will do they will move your server uh, not physically but they will move all the data and whatever doing exactly in the on premise or in your office the same thing you will do when the servers are in the cloud. okay so that is all is about okay. the cloud so it is provided like a, okay sales at the rate explore learn dot com your uh, Contact number is nine nine six six two four zero four zero one eight. Your number is yes. So I can ask him any question regarding for a cloud company. Yes. Okay, and uh, provide your website like www.explore. dot com. Yes. Okay, so if the seminar is the end up. If you have questions, uh, we will wait. If you don't have questions, we will hang up. Okay thank you so much sir thank you
Okay. Okay. So with goodbye. that, I will. Yeah. Goodbye. With that, I will conclude this session. And if you have any questions, if you have any inquiries or something, please uh, send an email to our address or contact our phone number given in the screen. So thank you. Thanks a lot. Take care and have a good time. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye.